because it's the holidays, I thought it would be kind of nice to do a little live stream. I haven't posted on Little Art Talks for a really long time, um, but I miss doing Little Art Talk videos. Um, I'm really happy you guys seem to enjoy the videos. It's been a while since I posted my last one, but subscribers have still been watching the videos, which I'm really, really thankful for. Um, Merry Christmas! <laughs> um, so I'm just like really thankful that I created a lot of talks, you know, so many years ago and you guys are still showing it. So because it's the holidays, I thought it would be kind of nice to do a little live stream. I haven't posted on Little Art Talks for a really long time, um, but I miss doing Little Art Talk videos. Um, I'm really happy you guys seem to enjoy the videos. It's been a while since I posted my last one, but subscribers have still been watching the videos, which I'm really, really thankful for. Um, Merry Christmas! <laughs> um, so I'm just like really thankful that I created a lot of talks, you know, so many years ago and you guys are still showing it so much love. Um, yeah, I just wanted to do something a little bit special for Christmas this year. Um, I don't know, do you guys have any plans for Christmas? I spent Christmas Eve with my dad, which was um, really, really fun. We had lunch together, we went to the mall. We went to Home Depot, which is his uh, browsing store of choice, and we had dinner, and then at the end of the day, he was kind of like, tomorrow you can uh, take care of yourself. <laughs> I think he was just a little tired from being out all day, so um, yeah, so today I am spending Christmas with you guys, and I don't know if you guys are uh, waiting for dinner or <laughs> anything like that. Um, or if you are just uh, hanging out, maybe you don't celebrate Christmas, that's cool too. So um, I'm glad you guys are hanging out. Oh, thank you for saying that you enjoy the videos. That's really sweet. So I have a little bit of a surprise. I have a couple crafting kits ordered online. This one is Wool Buddy and they have like these little penguins that I thought would be really fun to make with you guys on this live stream. And I have felted one time I made a strawberry and it was kind of painful because it is a slow process, but it ended up being pretty cute. I have no idea where the strawberries went, <laughs> but I have like one tiny experience with it, so I'll try it out. Um, cross stitching, I also have pretty novice experience, so we're gonna figure this out together. I think what I'm gonna do is have my camera tilt down here so that you can actually see my table. Hi Ren! Yes, I am in alive. <laughs> I've been really busy lately. I haven't been able to make Little Art Talks videos and I started Little Art Talks when I was in college, so I had a lot of free time. Um, it was like the last year of college, so uh, I wanted to do something with all the knowledge that I learned. I was really passionate about sharing things that I learned with people, so I created Little Art Talks. Um, but, you know, entering the real work world, I needed to make money, and I just got like really busy. Um, the last three years or so I've been working on my own company. If you guys don't know, I have my own company called uh, Art and Cove and we create like travel bags for women and I've been focusing a lot of energy on that because I wanted to, you know, grow that business and I'm really passionate about design and creating, you know, really cool designed for all the designs for my bags and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I've just focused a lot of time and energy on that. I do miss doing little art talks, um, but you know, it doesn't really make, it's really hard to make money from YouTube, 
especially like a totally livable income from just YouTube. And I do live in San Francisco, which is quite expensive to live in. So I haven't been able to upload as much as I wanted. Um, but I am really happy that I did spend time working on Little Art Talks when I had the chance because I do really believe in the, the whole idea of making art accessible and teaching people about art history and like sharing my passion about art with everyone. So I'm glad you guys are enjoying it and the videos that I've already made will always be there. And in the future, I might make new videos. I don't really know yet, but um, for now, I'm pretty, I'm just going to try to do my best. I can't promise anything, yeah. <laughs> there was a while where I was uploading a lot on Little Art Talks. Um, right after I finished school, like my um, university degree, and before I found like a full-time job. And then a little bit again after I left my last full-time job to start a company, I lurked on Little Art Talks um, quite a lot too. I was trying to upload like twice a week and that was quite a lot of work. Yes, two years ago. <laughs> yeah, time passed so quickly. I really don't know what happened. I feel like just yesterday I was doing all this stuff, but at the same time, it does feel like quite a long time. Um, I think the last time I uploaded a video was already over a year ago, and that was the Picasso video. I really enjoyed doing the Picasso videos. I feel like those are kind of like two of my favorite videos I've ever done. Um, partly because I'm quite passionate about talking about... It's like two of the things I like the most and I've studied the most in school, which is modern art as well as uh, non-Western art. And it was just like really cool to be invited to by a museum to like check out their exhibition um, with Picasso and um, the whole exhibition itself was an interesting concept. And yeah, I recently rewatched that the last, not the most recent upload, the second to last one, um, the Picasso Primitif video. And like right when I had this idea of like doing, I don't know, a live stream because I thought it would be like something a little bit more relaxed. I wouldn't have to do a lot of um, research and a lot of editing to, it wouldn't be too time consuming. Um, and also, you know, I'm just like chilling today. So I thought it'd be nice to like pop in and say hi to everyone. Where can I find more of your content because you have been away from YouTube? Um, if you want more art content, well, I still have all the old videos on Little Art Talks. Um, I don't really have, yeah, you're right. I haven't been uploading recently. So uh, the only videos that I've been making are ones for um, Art and Cove. If what you guys are interested in travel, <laughs> I'm, I have a company where we sell travel bags and I make YouTube videos for that. Um, a lot of my energy is focused on um, that right now. I have a personal channel which is uh, linked in the, you know, like the channels page. <laughs> uh, it's just called Karen and I don't upload on that very often either. And that's mostly also travel content, like vlogs, um, plants, because I am obsessed with plants. There's only one video about plants, but yeah. So I'm around online, but I'm not as prolific of an uploader these days. Um, I probably upload the most, well, I definitely upload the most on Arden Cove. But if you want more art content, there's a lot of great content out there. Um, you know, there's the art assignment, which I'm sure everyone knows about. Uh, that is awesome. There's also podcasts. Um, oh, there was one podcast I found 
recently called Art Sistery. It's like these two sisters who talk about art history and they're traveling. Um, I think the first episode was going to San Francisco and they're talking about the Gauguin exhibition at, I believe it was the De Young, or maybe it was the Legion of Honor. I think it was Legion of Honor. And um, it was really funny because for the longest time I wanted to do a video about Gauguin on Little Art Talks because there is like not that many artists that truly annoy me. Like a lot of artists aren't great people. Like I definitely don't think we need to be like saying they're like fantastic people or anything like that. But I thought he's just like next level very annoying. <laughs> And um, their first episode, if you listen to it, is called the Art Sistery Podcast. Episode one is about Gauguin, and uh, they went to go sh see his show. And they talk about a lot of the reasons, uh, the same reasons that I dislike him. If I were to pick an artist that I do dislike, he would be definitely at the top of the list. Um, so I'm glad they made that video because it's hilarious and they did a great job. Um, they have a ton of episodes that you could just binge on as well if you like podcasts. I've been quite enjoying podcasts myself. I would love to do more Little Art Talks videos, but honestly it is a lot of work to research, film, edit, and um, at this moment at least I'm kind of at capacity and I don't have the time to do that. If someone gave me a bunch of money to do it, I would do it. <laughs> but uh, no one's signing up for that. <laughs> and I, at this moment, I'm just like happy that anyone watches at all, honestly. And it is like definitely a hobby and something you have to do because you enjoy doing it and like that is why I love Little Art Talks because I genuinely really like it and I believe in it and I enjoy sharing with everyone and like having people be able to watch that kind of stuff and have it accessible for free on YouTube. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you heard my whole spiel earlier. I know it's probably annoying to repeat it too much but Little Art Talks definitely will always have a very soft spot in my heart and like maybe I'll come to a point in my life where I will have more time to work on it. Just currently at this point in my life I don't have as much time to dedicate as I would like. Um, but if there's like easier things like that I can do I might upload here and there. Like this. This is like pretty low maintenance for me. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad it did get you into art though. I think like there is like this whole conception that you have to be rich to like be an artist or get into art and like I'm definitely not saying like you should ignore money like money is important you know like I don't want you to starve I don't want you to not be able to pay rent or bills but art is also for everyone 